this could die a death horribly or it could work. I've got a load of joysticks and better people out there have done better reviews of than I could on joysticks. So I thought to hell with it. I'm going to try and do a quick review under 60 seconds for each one. And uh, just to show you what they're like, are they any use? Is it worth getting them? Now I'm just going to go and make shaft jokes for the next few minutes to get them out of my system. And then we'll kick off with the Powerplay Cruiser. Okay folks, sticks in 60 seconds. We are looking at the Powerplay Cruiser. Okay, I'm not gonna, it does, no matter how pervy this gets, I'm not gonna start laughing. Uh, shaft, rock solid, um, very, very tight. This cuff here, when you lift it up, I, I, I'm really not gonna start laughing. Uh, this cuff, when you lift it up and turn it, controls the, the tightness. In fairness, it goes from tight to very, very tight. It's, it's a nice tight stick. Uh, buttons here, lovely arcade style, uh, obviously a bit smaller than arcade, but you know, good you're in getting a C64, Atari, whatever, joystick. Um, suckers underneath, keeping it in place. It is rock solid. It is never mind surviving being thrown against the wall. This thing could survive. Okay, if there was an apocalypse, um, nuclear strike, whatever, there'd just be cockroaches playing something like Great Diana Sisters with one of these. It is absolutely solid. Uh, well worth getting it, getting one if you can get one. There are some weird pastel colours, but it's only blue one. Anyway, that has been the Powerplay Cru uh, Cruiser. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.